Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. It is Monday and we're starting off the week strong. I just feel really, really good about this week. Last week, I was everywhere. My brain was so scattered and I just feel like I couldn't focus on what needed to be done and I just feel like this week is going to be a very productive week and I do have quite a bit of like campaigns that I'm working on and I also have some shoots this week which will be fun because I bought a new lens recently and I have only used it like twice so far so I really really want to just use it a little bit more and kind of like play around with it. But if you guys are new here, I'm a 25 year old living in Austin, Texas and I'm a photographer and I do content creation full time. Every week I post these week in my life on Sundays and then I try to do another vlog or like a sit down video throughout the week. I also want to make that like one of my biggest goals this week is to do a sit down video of some sort. I have so many ideas and I don't know why I haven't like done it yet because I was so good at it in the beginning of the year and they're honestly just so fun for me because I can be a little bit more creative with like the title cards and all that stuff. I feel like I haven't done an Austin like video in so long but also if there's specific sit down videos that you guys would want to watch please let me know. You can DM me on Instagram, comment them down below. I would appreciate any and all suggestions. This morning I woke up, took out Sophie, and then pretty much cleaned the whole house because tonight I usually have um, friends over for a bachelorette. I feel like people have been so busy these past few weeks. Like every one of my friends has something different going on. Most of it's moving, moving in and moving out. So I feel like everyone's just been a little bit all over the place. So it'll be really nice to just like reunite. And I kind of want to make something for bachelor at night because I feel like I always like do a new recipe but I have not decided yet so I'm still going to be thinking about that um, but I am going to meet a friend at Two Hands on South Congress. Um, I'm probably just going to get a matcha but I do want to eat like a piece of toast before I go because I feel like every time I have caffeine and there's not food in me like it is not <laughs> it is not a vibe. Here's a little fit check for the day. This bodysuit is the ribbed bodysuit from Abercrombie. It is such a good basic to have. And then these jeans are from Zara. Shoes are from Dolce Vita. They're like kind of like Birkenstocks, but more platformy and have like a cool texture on them. And then this bag is from Sinbono, but I've been literally obsessed with these jeans lately. I feel like I'm wearing them with every outfit, but it's giving brats, but I kind of like it because they're so long that they kind of like give that flared look at the ends. And I think I told you guys this in my last vlog, but I usually cut them. But now I'm like, I kind of like the look of them being so long on me. Best butter ever. So good. Just pulled up to Barton Creek Mall and I'm gonna go inside and shop at Express for a campaign. I have a hundred dollar gift card, which I feel like might not be that much. And I feel like for campaigns, usually they'll just like gift you everything that you need. I feel like that's what I'm used to. So I'm even having like one coming up that you have to purchase all the products on your own. And I'm like, what in the world? Like that, it's just weird. Cause obviously that comes out of like what you're getting from the company, like your paycheck kind of. So. I don't know. I don't understand that. I don't know why brands are doing that now, but that's okay because um, one of the products that I have to get are slack pants and I honestly love wearing those kind of pants. I feel like I said this recently, but I'm just kind of trying to find more pants that aren't not denim because I just kind of want to switch it up and they're just a little bit more comfortable. got way more things than I expected to. Um, so starting off with Morphe, I actually really, really needed a brow pencil because I've been using a brow pen and basically you have to be like super precise with it and sometimes it could look a little bit more darker and heavier than I would like it to be. So I just wanted to get a pencil and try out pencil again um to give me those like lighter looking brows because i still do need to fill them in on this brow there's like no hair on the bottom it's so annoying but 
it like literally never goes back even if i try to use castor oil so anyways i got a brow pencil i think it's like in the darkest color um so i'm gonna try that out and then i saw ariana grande's line at the front of the store and i was like what the heck is that because it looked really cool and apparently it was like a liquid eyeshadow which i literally use um a liquid eyeshadow every single day and there was a brown color so this is what it looks like it's kind of like a lipstick it looks like a liquid lipstick but it's for like your eyes and i love liquid eyeshadows because again it just makes things faster um so i will like the one i use right now i put it all over my eye just blend it out with a beauty blender eyeshadow is done for the day for some reason like if i don't have any kind of like color on my eyes it just looks really weird and like something is missing on my face so i have to do some kind of like a nude brown eyeshadow so anyways this is what it looks like it's almost like a contour it looks like a contour stick thingy i don't even know but i'm very very excited to try that out um i know morphe or not morphe nyx i know nyx has very similar ones to that and then i went to abercrombie and saw the cargos i feel like these are going to be well i feel like they're already super super trendy right now very kim possible vibes i got a size large i'm gonna try them on and see if they fit i didn't really want to do the whole fitting room thing because i had already went to express and i needed that stuff to fit so i had to do it there then i saw this bodysuit and i love like gray tank tops or anything like that i just feel like it looks so like casual but put together um and it has like kind of a unique style so i'm gonna try this on as well for express i'm filming a campaign on these pants they're called the editor pant and i showed clips um in the fitting room but they're kind of like a flare they have like a bunch of different styles in the contract it said that they were going to give me a gift card for 100 dollars and i feel like these pants are let's see these pants are 80 dollars themselves so i was like wait what the hell and they wanted me to get kind of like a full outfit. So I was like, um, okay, that's a little weird. But the gift card ended up being $200. I was like, hell yeah. So I got this bustier thing, corset. And then I was going to get that like silky um, cami thing, but then I saw this sweater and I just felt like this would be a little bit better because I want to do like a work to date night TikTok. And so I felt like this is definitely more appropriate for the work part. And I didn't have to like get a, another piece, like a, a blazer or something over that cami. So that is what I got at the mall today. Um, it's so weird to like see other people your age at the mall. Cause you're like, why aren't you at work? And then I'm like, they're probably thinking the same thing. <laughs> I guess people work from home. So like maybe on their lunch break, like they could quickly go to the mall i'm gonna find a sound for the tiktok i need to film for express i think they have like sounds that i have to pick from that they chose so i'm gonna go on my computer look at that really quick and it is already two my friends come over usually after 6 30 um so i feel like this day is flying by but it's been productive so far so i'm happy i am honestly terrified because <laughs> i thought these were high-waisted and they probably are but they're honestly so big on me I got a large. I'm usually a large in stuff, especially like pants because I'm a size 10. I think they're supposed to be low-waisted, but it's not giving, at least on me. I mean, it looks great on other people, but I'm going to have to return these, which is kind of sad because I love the baggy look. Also, I think I'm going to return this. I'm also sad about that. This is just like pissing me off how it's like loose up here, which is like tight and to me. And I just feel like I thought this thickness would like look a lot better than it does. It's giving Kim Possible. <laughs> Not in like the worst way, but I just don't know if it looks great on my body type. But I do have other baggy pants that are just not this like low, low rise. So good to know. Oh, maybe it's adjustable. Ah, okay, okay, wait, give me a second. Okay, so if I tied it any tighter, it would like kind of bunch up, so that would be weird. So it's still like a low rise fit, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, they fit a little bit better, but like, I don't know. I don't think this is for me. I really don't. 
I think if it was high waisted, it would be a hundred times better. Or I could just get a medium and then they could be tighter and I could wear them higher because like the crotch is like, it looks like it's a high waisted pant. I am so proud of myself. I got so much done today. I told you guys it was going to be a good week. I feel like I just need to keep saying that to myself so I believe it and like almost manifest a good week. But like obviously I have to put in the work too. Like I can't be lazy. Um, I mean, I guess that could be a good week too, like a relaxing week. But honestly, I just needed to pick the pace up on some things. So I got everything filmed, edited, and submitted. So feeling really accomplished right now. Um, and I just went to HEB because I wanted to get some ingredients to make some pizzas because when Ryan was here, I made my own dough and I just froze like two big things of dough. So I wanna use them. And I literally bought this basil, like it feels like not that long ago, probably, it probably was like last week, but like it's already going bad. And I like even put it in this water thingy. I was just like, what the heck? I'm like very sad that it went bad, but at least I have a few leaves <laughs> um, because I wanted to do margarita pizza. And I did forget to get like fresh basil, but thank God there's like a few leaves that are good to go. So got that. Even this mint is going bad so fast. It sucks. I'm just going to roll it out on the counter. I might regret this later when I'm cleaning the counters, but it's okay. I feel like this just works a little bit better so I can like roll it out as big as I want it. I think I'm gonna probably split this up into maybe even three because last time I thought I was making it pretty thin and it was honestly so thick. Hopefully these balls are enough. I think they will be. It is Tuesday, it is 3 p.m. and I am really needing a midday pick-me-up. <sighs> and I feel like I've been on a huge matcha kick lately, which isn't surprising for me, but I think I want some chai today. So we're gonna do that. I spent the whole morning working on pulling design inspo from like other websites and Pinterest for my new photography website. This is like super new, but honestly, I was looking at my photography website the other day because I wanted to um, put out like contact forms or like wait lists for seniors and grads and everything like that. Um, and I was looking at my site and I was like, oh my God, it is so bad i literally hired some guy off of fiverr to like do it custom and like i drew on my ipad back when it was like super popular and it was like right when COVID hit i remember because i never did like a big launch because i was like waiting for the right time and i never launched it and it was just kind of sad you know like anyways now i'm so over it it is like not very professional looking honestly and i want to look professional because i feel like i am a pretty well-established photographer here in Austin. So I wanted to just like switch things up. So I was kind of like thinking about it. Um, and then my photographer friend in Dallas, her name's Karishma. She does like branding and bloggers and her photos are so good. Apparently she just started, which I'm mind blown by all these photographers, maybe not just started, but like, you know, a couple years under her belt. All these photographers that kind of just start, I'm just like, 
how do you look like you've been doing it for 10 years? Like it is insane. Um, these people are just so good. Anyways, she messaged me when I put it on my story because I asked for recommendations for people who do branding and websites. And she was like, wait, I'll literally do it for you because I want it for my portfolio because she is going to like add that as a service, I'm guessing. Um, and I was like, okay, but my website's on a WordPress and I was worried that it wasn't like the same thing because she wants to do mine on show it. Maybe that's where she designs it and then someone transfers over my WordPress to show it. I'm not really sure exactly, but first day of just kind of like getting my ideas together, what I like, what I want on my website. Um, and so that's really exciting because I just feel like that needed to happen, even though I like you know, paid kind of a good chunk of money to get my website done like a couple years ago, but that's okay. Um, it's an investment into my business and I, I don't know. I just honestly feel embarrassed in my website. Like I literally am going to pull it off my Instagram and just like put a link tree with a Google form for now. But she also said that my site will be done mid September or end of September, which tomorrow is September 1st. So that's kind of crazy because I feel like website designs and stuff like that takes so long so i'm just very 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 thankful for her um and if you guys are in dallas and you need a photographer hit her up because seriously her photos are great i bet she does like families and couples and all that stuff too but that was fun to just like get creative this morning um and then just some other admin stuff um submitting content and posting content so i've just been on my computer all day which is honestly fine because it is a rainy day here i actually had a shoot tonight and i was like i think we should probably reschedule because like sometimes it clears up especially at the end of the day but i was like we can reschedule or we can look at the weather around like 5 p.m to decide so she just was like let's just reschedule and i was like i'm glad you said that because now i can have a lazy day and this whole day i've been working from my um desk and my like actual office chair all last week i was working from the couch and i just no, there is such a big difference in productivity levels when I am not on the couch, but because it's raining and stuff, I really, really, really want to be on that couch and just like watch Netflix. I also have learned that I maybe am a Netflix person because this whole time I thought I was a YouTube person. I don't know. I feel like YouTube is just getting a little stale for me. I'm not getting like super excited about anyone I watch. If you guys know of any YouTuber bloggers that you like love, like aesthetic vlogs, long vlogs, interesting vlogs, but also I like the mundane stuff. Like right now I'm kind of into Rachel Ratke's vlogs because I love her style. I think her style is super cool. I obviously love JC Marie. She does like Sunday vlogs. Those are super fun. She lives in California. I feel like her life is just so perfect. Um, I feel like anything that gives me like an escape, not that I have much to escape from, but just like a little, you know, like, oh, this is so fun to be in another world, I guess. Um, but I guess now that I have more time, now that Ryan's not here, I have more time to like watch Netflix and stuff. And I have like a whole list of things I need to get through. Like there's a new movie with, I wanna say her name is Lily Reinhardt, but I'm not sure if that's her name. The blonde girl from Riverdale. And apparently that movie is based in Austin. So I think I will be putting that on tonight. I'm in my favorite graphic tee. It's from Free People and it's probably my most expensive graphic tee, but I love it so much. I really, really wanna get just one more maybe. I live in like big t-shirts like this. Um, for chai, I've probably shown this a bunch of times, but this is the one I use. Tazo Organic Chai Latte. Um, and they do have a skinny chai but I tried that one and it just like wasn't sweet enough for me. So I was like, you know what? It's worth it to get just like the normal one. Honestly, I don't really even need caffeine right now because like it's rainy and I just like kind of want to be lazy. I feel like there's always computer work that I could be doing. So I will like get that done. But again, I'm kind of wanting to just watch netflix i mean it's three so like i feel like at 5 p.m i'm gonna call it a day and just sit my ass on the couch the rest of the night i feel so bad when it rains because sophie first of all when it thunderstorms she gets really really scared but also obviously i can't really like 
take her out or if I do take her out, she hates the rain. She hates being like wet, I think, because she does not like any kind of water except for a bath. She's like kind of fine in a bath. But like if we take her on Ladybird Lake and the whole trail is almost like a bridge pretty much above water and she knows that there's water like on both sides she'll like freak out and like stop in her place and like not want to walk so yeah she does not like rain falling on her um and then also she can't like play ball outside but in a weird way i feel like she feels the rainy vibes because she's been sleeping on my green checkered blanket all morning she loves that blanket loves it and now i know so whenever i want her to come in my room i'm gonna like bring that blanket out and like set it up for her all nicely um but then she's like switched her spot and then went back to sleep now she's on the couch she's probably gonna go back to sleep so i'm like okay i feel like you know that it's a rainy day and you want a chill day too yay i haven't had a chai in a while i just like wanted something sweet honestly and this is kind of like fall flavors i feel like everyone's freaking out because pumpkin spice is back at starbucks i think today and I don't know, like this sounds really sad, but I don't think I can go to Starbucks without Ryan. Like that's our place, you know? During COVID, I swear we had it every single morning, which is kind of disgusting of us. <laughs> but I don't know, I would feel so sad if I don't my drink without Ryan. So I think I have to wait for him to come back and then maybe I can like get my closure. Here's to having a rainy, relaxing day. Welcome to the office setup. <laughs> I love this blanket so much. It is large. It is so freaking big. I was just sharing it with Sophie. I put some on the floor and some on my lap. Um, got my iPad propped up watching YouTube videos on here. Working on my computer. Ooh. Okay, well maybe the chai didn't work, but drinking my chai. And I literally just turned the heat on. Am I crazy? I'm just feeling all the fall vibes because I just took Sophie out and realized that it's 75 degrees outside so it's kind of like cold and i was freezing in the hallways because they make it really cold which is great because it's usually really hot here but um yeah i just felt like i needed to turn the heat on and i snapchatted ryan ryan says i'm crazy oh wait wait it's literally the same temperature as georgia but obviously it's raining so it's pretty humid outside i can't remember which vlog i showed you guys my notion like calendar and planner could have been yesterday, honestly. I feel like they all blur together. But separating my personal tasks from my like sponsorship content is so, so important. Like I don't know why I took so long to do it because I feel like I'm on top of everything. I'm even submitting content earlier than I have to. I just saw this TikTok by this girl, Course Creator. And basically she said like an easy way to find out keywords or just trending topics is to search through the platform like for example if you want to do like seo for pinterest you type out the word so let's say matcha and then just the letter a and then that will come up with a bunch of like content ideas or even keywords and then you do same thing matcha b matcha c and then you can literally go to any letter if you wanted to um but that was so smart and mind-blowing watching my friend sophia on youtube and then also just cooking dinner i'm doing sweet potatoes and chicken again because honestly it was so good that one time i made it so simple but so good and i just opened this up i thought i would do a taste test on camera because i haven't tried this olipop flavor before but i've heard this is like the best one that they have it's strawberry vanilla so here we go okay interesting i think i need like to get used to it um because it is like a is it a prebiotic theme of bomber? Yeah, prebiotic drink, so it's not like sweet soda. I don't know, I don't know. Again, maybe I just need to get used to it, but. Okay, for the sweet potatoes, I'm just gonna drizzle some olive oil, some garlic powder. I feel like I put this all over everything I eat daily. So we're gonna go pretty heavy with that. And then obviously some salt. And then I think I'm gonna do Italian seasoning. I'm just kind of curious how that would taste. All right. 
mix it all up. I cannot decide if I want to do these in the air fryer or should I just do them in the oven? Um, because I feel like I want them to be crispy, but I don't know if it's going to take a long time to cook. Now for the chicken, we're pretty much going to be doing like a very similar seasoning. So garlic powder, salt, paprika. I'm pretty sure I put this coriander on it last time and it was, it was good last time. So I'm going to do it again. Then I drizzled olive oil on them and they were so juicy and good. It is Wednesday. I have my full on grill outfit on. Um, this morning I took my car to get my air filled up, which is something that I definitely depend on Ryan for when he's here to just like do it for me or like fix it. And I was like so nervous to go to Discount Tire because I like didn't understand that I didn't have to pay for it. And anyways, I walked in and it was so packed. Like everyone was waiting almost like more packed than the DMV. And I was like, oh, goodness like I hope it doesn't take that long because I just need air luckily there was like a little air like um like little stop just for checking air and I was like okay thank god so I went through that the guy was super nice and I didn't have to pay for it I just tipped him but I was like oh I didn't know it was this easy I guess these past years since Ryan's done it I didn't even have like a chance to know it was that easy and I always push off getting air in my tires and yes my tires do like go low very often. I don't know why. I think they're fine. Like he checked the tires. He said it was fine. But I did that this morning. So I feel very productive. <laughs> I got gas. I also filmed a campaign um, and edited it and sent it to the brand. And they already said that they loved it. And honestly, I feel like my reels lately are just like even TikToks because pretty much all my sponsorships are coming in through just TikTok and reels. I get so excited to create that content and it honestly comes like kind of easy to me because I've been doing it for so long like I'm literally a photographer and videographer not that I do video for clients like as much as photo but anyways I've been in the industry for a while so I feel like it comes very easy to me and it's so fun for me to do sometimes I cannot even comprehend like the fact that I'm able to make money doing this and making content for some of the best brands I actually have the shoes right here that I shot today. Um, these are the New Balance. I don't even, shoot, I don't know the number of them, but I wore them out today and that was not smart because I want to try to keep them super, super clean. But these remind me of the Hoka shoes and I have been dying to get the white Hoka. So I'm like, this is literally perfect. So I'll, again, I'm going to try to keep them clean. Maybe they'll be my like treadmill walking shoe i was just kind of like reflecting over the past week of being alone especially for my first week of being alone and i am like very proud of myself even though it was just a week well has it been a week i feel like it's been a little longer than a week but but i just feel like i was going to be like so scared when ryan left and just like i don't know like really paranoid and everything but I haven't been and I think that's just me kind of not being dependent on Ryan to keep me safe because obviously like we've been together for almost 10 years now and he is like my safe space but now I'm thinking like oh my god and I knew that I was a little too dependent on him but like even just like for my safety like sometimes I wouldn't even be aware of my surroundings and I'm starting to like obviously you know open my eyes a little bit more and just be aware of my surroundings because it's just me and Sophie so I kind of have to do that and I just feel a little bit more present in the moment which is a good feeling honestly um and that is my own fault for just being so dependent on Ryan all these years so that is one thing I learned about myself and I'll definitely do these little check-ins like kind of every week if I have something to say obviously um but yeah I feel like it's been like honestly not bad living alone and I've been able to watch Netflix and not that like we don't watch Netflix together and honestly he watches a lot of the shows that I like so I can't complain in that sense but I've been even cooking at home more and eating at home and I um, checked my weight this morning because I don't do it like every single day but I was just kind of curious because I feel like 
I haven't really been snacking lately and you know I've been like kind of eating a little healthy and I literally lost like some weight and I'm just I'm very happy about it Ryan's coming back to visit late September and I kind of want to do like a challenge with myself I haven't really been sticking to like a crazy fitness gym schedule and I do want to get back into like walking I've always wanted to try doing like 10k steps a day like for x amount of days But I don't know if that's like unrealistic Um because it does take a while to do but i'm gonna think about it and i'll keep you guys updated I just feel like I haven't really been super motivated in the fitness side of things But I feel like I again haven't really been snacking and have been eating like more on the healthy side So i'm kind of proud of myself for that it's a little bit later in the day and the sun is coming in beautifully i really want to take advantage of it and also i have makeup on so i feel like i should be creating content but i do have some packages downstairs so i'm gonna go get them and we can unbox them together okay here is my new blender it is from the company beast and it is just so beautiful i got the white color i think it comes in gray and black as well so apparently this is like a water bottle that you can put i think fruit in here and it kind of like infuses the water or you can obviously put your smoothies in it too i am so pumped i don't really want a smoothie right now so i'll definitely wait till tomorrow to use it and try it out but i'm very excited about it um now my counter looks crazy so i'm gonna clean up i'm starving so i'm going to heat up leftovers that i made yesterday just like the chicken and sweet potatoes it's pretty good and it fills me up and then i started a new show called echoes it's like this thriller kind of thing it kind of reminds me of gone girl i've literally only seen the like first episode or something um but basically like there's twin sisters and one goes missing and then they like switch places and she's trying to find out like all these secrets so it seems pretty good so i'm actually very excited to start like really deep diving because i feel like the first and like second episode when you get into a tv show it's just like you're like okay what the heck is happening but then by the third one you're like holy shit like hooked you know really quick and do straight um because i'm going to meet my friend at swedish hill and i don't think i've ever actually gotten anything from there i remember ryan getting like coffee one time but i'm very excited to try it out and it's just like this really really aesthetic cute little coffee shop on the west side and i pretty much got full glam because i wanted to take advantage and take a photo because i actually have some um photos that i need to style outfits for take photos and send to the brand so i'm not posting anything for them i'm just literally taking pictures in the product for like a styled outfit so i don't want to like stress myself out thank god i have like a lot of time because i feel like a lot of brand deals lately are like okay i'm gonna send you the product product gets there then like you have to submit the next day and you like don't have that much time and i just feel like it's more enjoyable especially when you're like taking photos outside when you're actually just taking photos of what you're doing on an everyday basis rather than shooting three outfits at a time and like rushing and 
you know, throwing off your clothes in the car. I mean, like, that's fun and all. And, like, I do feel very productive and, like, fulfilled doing that. But it's just so much more relaxed when you obviously only have one outfit to shoot in. So I'm excited. I'm going with my friend Kim. Today, I really want to come up with a sit-down video. I feel like, I have so many ideas written down. But I want to, like, come up with a whole outline so that when I go to film it, it's not so daunting because I feel like I'm so used to vlogging and just like speaking what's on my mind that I feel like it feels like a lot more work when it comes to like the sit down videos. But in reality, I feel like vlogs are way more work to edit because it's so much longer. I don't want anything to be rushed and I also have some photography stuff to get done today. Um, not a shoot, but just um, editing photos. Um, the product I have to shoot for is Mark Fisher boots. So we're, we're doing this fall outfit and I feel like I'm gonna get looks because it's not fall at all here, but it's okay. At least it's a skirt, like it's nothing crazy. Okay, so the outfit switched up very last minute because I was not feeling the first outfit, but I would die for this chunky sweater. It is from, uh, Misguided, yeah, from last fall. And I bought like a bunch of chunky sweaters and I literally put them in a vacuum sealed bag and they're like sitting on the top of my closet so i'm very excited for the day where i feel like it's cold enough to open that up and like start wearing like full on fall clothes i'm a little worried i'm gonna be sweating but at least i have like a bodysuit so i can literally just take it off and wear this if i needed to i also decided to not do my hair because i really did not have the time but the claw clip i love this is from kov essentials i'm pretty sure it's just cove essentials i found the brand on tiktok it is seriously the best claw clip I've ever owned. I've always gotten them on Amazon and they just like feel a little bit cheap, but this one is so sturdy. Like they've literally done tests of like, I'm pretty sure like running it over with a car and they don't break. It is insane. Um, and also like, I feel like it never comes off my head. It is, it is amazing. I love this thing so much. I have like two little ones too. Um, they are pricey, but I feel like if you, you know, don't lose it, then it's worth it because I literally wear this every single day. I'm here with Kim. She was literally just walking because she lives like in this area and I was like, get in the car <laughs> and then we can just like go park. Um, I was confused. I yeah, was like, I know. I, I like that? beeped at you and I, I don't, I don't know if you saw me, but yeah. um, like I said, we're going to Swedish Hill. We're going to take our photos first, get them done because I feel like both of us have like, we, you said you brought a blazer. Yeah. I it's got a chunky sweater. It's still very hot in Austin. So, so. we're going to try to shoot some fall content. Yeah. Even though it's like 90 it's degrees. Disgusting. So yeah. Just luck. <laughs> Found this really cute space outside of Swedish Hill and we're shooting here. Sweating like dogs because Sweating. we chose for the fall picks, you know? Very gotta do hot. what you gotta do. Kim was raving about this. Can you tell us what it is? Okay, this is the couscous salad. Do I look like a sweaty mess? No. <laughs> This is the couscous salad at Swedish Hill, and it is so delicious. Check it out. It has like the onions, tomatoes, obviously couscous, and it is to die for, so it's like smelly. You have to try it, it's so good. And I got a ginger lemonade, actually ginger sparkling lemonade. It is seriously so good and refreshing because that's what we need right now, and then you got a chai. Got a chai chi latte, it's my go-to drink, so yes. I always get it. I'm in the same girl outfit that I was in yesterday but it's really comfy and it's not dirty so I just put it back on. But it is 7.28 and I'm going to reheat the same leftovers I've had for the past like, I don't know what, maybe like two, three nights. I'm proud of myself because I really freaking want sushi. You know, what What are you doing so weird? Just like making laps around the island. I don't know if you can hear her little steps. Okay, so I miss having Ryan around because like, you know, we would just get sushi anytime the heart wanted it, right? But it's probably a good thing for like one, my wallet and also just like health wise because I feel like we ate it a lot and like the rolls I would get weren't the healthiest. So I don't know if I already shared this with you guys, but I really, really, really want to try to do like a September challenge, like a, almost like a fitness challenge. But I don't want to like be too hard on myself, so like I don't want to talk about it like too much. It's more for me, I guess, and like I want to, you know, look really good and feel really good when I see Ryan again. So he even bought like a Planet Fitness membership, and he's killing it in the gym. It's only been two days, but still, that's 
that's a good start. And so this morning I did a form workout. That's Sammy Clark's app. Um, I think I found Sammy Clark on TikTok or YouTube, but anyways, I watched them both. And she is a fitness instructor. Basically, she like has this app and I subscribed to it like a month ago and then I like kind of like didn't do it for a while and I was like, okay, if I'm paying for this app, like I literally need to do it. So I think I'm gonna try to do that or like if I really don't feel like doing that, I'm gonna just try to like walk on the treadmill. I really just wanna get like 30 minutes of exercise every single day. Also, I need to be active <laughs> and I want to, you know, get fit and lose a little bit of weight. I don't know if that's controversial. So trigger warning, I'm definitely not at my ideal weight. And especially since Ryan's gone, I wanna take advantage of this time and like eat cleaner. Not that I'm like blaming him, but like if you have a boyfriend, you know, like it is so hard to say no if he's like, oh, do you want to play? It's so hard, guys. Like I rarely say no. And when I do, I feel like so proud of myself. Like that is like my biggest accomplishment that week saying no to Chick-fil-A or Starbucks in the mornings. Since he's not here, I don't have that much of temptation and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not really counting calories. I did do that at one point and like honestly it worked. A calorie deficit works and I know again that's controversial but it really worked for me. Unfortunately I gained it all back because I just started eating like you know how I usually eat which is not good and I know it's a lifestyle and all that kind of stuff so I am trying to like choose better healthier options like today I wanted something. What are you doing Sophie? <laughs> Sophie, 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 what are you doing? Like I was saying, today I was craving something like salty sweet, I don't even know. But I grabbed like a little yogurt and had granola with it. And I was, I was proud of myself. Like it's the small wins, especially if you're so used to eating one way, you know? Um, but I wanted to get back into like trying different recipes because like I know it's only been what, two, two, one week since he's been gone. But living alone, I just feel like I am not really fulfilled like I was like cooking for someone else. But I have that chicken that I'm gonna reheat again. But I think I wanna do something a little different. I have spinach, so I'm gonna do garlic spinach. I'm gonna reheat the chicken, and then I'm gonna make a lemon honey tahini. I've heard about the sauce a while ago, and I just looked it up again, and everyone in the comments are like, oh my god, I tried this, it's amazing. So, I think we're gonna go for it. Let's do this. We're gonna start with tahini. And I'm following a recipe by Rachel Wolfson on TikTok. So she said three to four tablespoons of tahini, I believe. It's a very interesting texture. I think I've only tried it once on its own and I don't think I like loved it. And then I'm just gonna eyeball the honey. So she said one tablespoon. Well, I guess it's already in there. <laughs> and then she said a fourth of a squeezed lemon. I'm not really sure what a fourth of the squeezed lemon is, so we'll just call it that. Okay, so I definitely thought that there was gonna be more spinach on the bottom. I swear, every time I like take a handful, or even more than a handful, I'm like left with nothing when I cook it down. But this is what it looks like. Looks pretty good. And I thought we could do a little live taste test. Honestly, guys, that is like taking my chicken to the next level. It gives it a little bit of sweetness. I kind of said it was like a peanut butter lemony kind of taste. I don't know, very nutty taste I would say, but I'm gonna drizzle a little bit more, it's so good. It is Friday, we made it to the end of the week and I got up this morning not feeling so great. So I did skip the gym because I made plans to swap photos with my friend today at 10.30 a.m currently like 10 something so she's on her way over here um because we're just going to take my car and probably drive around somewhere um but i still have to get just two more photos for that one sponsorship for mark fisher um and i'm going to get it done today and that will be what day is it like six days early i'm like hell yeah that makes me feel so good i feel like having a separate content calendar 
has literally made my life so much easier and so much less stressful. So we're probably gonna get a car shot and then we're gonna go to possibly the East Austin Hotel because they just have like a neutral wall. Honestly, I'm back in like my neutral backgrounds phase. I don't wanna say era because I know everyone's getting like annoyed with that word. I'm definitely into it again because I just want there to be like a lot more um, background space on my feed, especially because I feel like majority of my content on Instagram is reels now and you have to upload like a skinny photo, like the 16, what is it? Nine by 16 photo um, dimensions. And so it crops out a lot. So now when I tell people to take photos of me, I'm like, just go back, <laughs> go all the way back. And it never used to be like that. So it is so funny how the trends change. Tonight I am going to one of my favorite restaurants in Austin, like not even joking. I'm so glad my friend picked this place. It's called the Peacock and it's at um, the proper hotel. And I'm really, really hoping we get dessert because that's like one of the main <laughs> reasons I love that place so much. We're at the top of the garage and move your head. <laughs> Look at the city. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, it's probably not. And look at me. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna take some car photos. I literally just had to quick clean out my car. It was very embarrassing, but it's all good. Okay, let's do it. We're dead, we're, we're sweaty. Dead. And what, it's like 11 something? Yeah, we did good. Like, yeah, <laughs> I think we did amazing. Oh, I feel like now I just need some lemonade. I was just telling her, I feel like every time I get the ounce of like dehydration, I'm like, I need a lemonade. <laughs> <laughs> my Revolve package just got here, so. I thought we would do a little unboxing slash try and haul. They're pretty much just like going out tops because I feel like I'm gonna be going out more. Here's the first one. It is this nude one-shouldered bodysuit. It is such good quality. It's kind of like that thick like material that you feel like it's sucking you in. Um, so I'm not wearing a bra with this. And it also has a clasp and a zipper on the side. Up next, we have this really cool checkered shirt. This is probably the one I was most excited about. Also, it's the priciest out of this whole haul, but everything is under a hundred dollars i'm pretty sure the top kind of cuts off at a weird length though it's not a bodysuit so like i just tucked it into my pants you could totally wear it as a normal shirt but love the high neck here's the next top it's super like strappy and has a lot of cutouts on the back as you can see but i thought this part was going to be like a little bit wider because i just have like scars right here that you can kind of see so i don't know if i'm loving it but I was really excited about this one too, so I'm sad this doesn't like perfectly fit. I think it's still cool. Like I kind of want to keep it because I feel like it's cool, but I don't know if it like actually flatters very well. I always do this. I always forget to show you guys one or two things because I'm like literally creating all this content. Um, but since I am creating all the content, I have a video to show for it. So here is the top. It's from Free People and it is so cute. I love it so much. I just need to figure out like how to adjust it because I don't think I could tie the thing in the back like how I wanted it to by myself. So I might need some help with that, but it is really cute. Next up is just a white tank top. Honestly, I feel like my most worn outfit, you guys have probably seen it in the vlogs, is a white tank top of some sort with high-waisted pants or shorts or jeans, whatever fits the vibe that day. So I wanted to add to my collection also because some of the ones that I wear like all the time are getting a little bit dingy um, and this is really good quality. So I'm happy with it. It's 6.30 and my friend is on her way to pick me up because we're gonna go to dinner. The girls actually wanna go to Ava and see if we can get in. But if it has a long wait, then we'll just like keep a reservation. And then we're probably gonna go out. I literally packed Tums like in a little plastic baggie in my purse and obviously my lactate pill. Some of the foods I eat, I don't even know if dairy is actually in them. I just take it to be on the safe side, especially when I eat and then go out. Like I hate doing that because I feel so shitty. I just wanna go home and like lay on the couch because I'm in a food coma. So this time I think I'm just gonna get like an appetizer or something, nothing too heavy because I have done that and then I go out and I'm just like hating my life, so it sucks. I'm gonna end the week in my life here. I'm gonna film the rest on my phone, but if you guys are wanting to keep up with me in real time, you can go follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both so underscore gnarly without the G and I'll see y'all in my next video.